Hello my faithful YouTube followers. Uh, tonight we're going to do something a little different. I'm going to attempt to do a tutorial on how to turn an old servo into an LED control board. I've never done this. Um, this will be my first time attempting it. So everything could go horribly wrong and it could blow up and burn down my house. The first thing I want to do is I'm going to make my LED uh, harness. I'm just using two white 3.3 volt LEDs because I'm going to be using this battery pack and I don't want to screw around with resistors or anything for this because this is just a test. So I'm just going to wire these in series. Long leg to short leg and then wire these wires on to them. So now we'll disassemble the servo and for this I require some special lubrication. Now that it's apart, I just need to desolder the motor. I should note that this was a digital servo, uh, EXI D226F. It's a high torque servo, but the case was all busted up, so it wasn't doing me any good just sitting here. Now, try to desolder this motor without screwing too much stuff up. Well, I'm going to keep this because you never know what it might come in handy for. So I'll just set that aside for now. <clears throat> now, we have that desoldered. Before I go any further, I want to do a little testing just to see what kind of voltages and ranges we're dealing with here. So, okay, you can see I added an insulator to my uh, helping hand so that I don't accidentally cook anything on the board. <clears throat> and I've got it plugged into my receiver. Now I just need to plug some power in. Oop, power up that. All right, uh, set this to 20 max DC current. Right now I am showing a negative volt. If I turn to the right, I get negative 5.4. If I turn to the left, I get 5.4 positive. Now, that could be my trim is off. Okay, turning this pot seems to be very touchy, switching between, there we go, I got a negative 0 0.5 and a 5.45 in the other direction. So this pot is really touchy, but you want to get it as close to zero as you can. 0 0.2, and if I turn to the left, I get a 5.4. So that is actually perfect, I think. All right, time to solder the LEDs on.
Okay, sorry about not recording that part. I uh, wasn't paying attention to my camera and it was off. But all I did was wire up a plug to the positive and negative terminals on the servo board where the motor was. Now we will plug in the LEDs. I have moved the, the uh, servo board to channel 3 on the receiver so that channel 3 on the transmitter should be able to switch it. Now I am going to plug in the power and we can see that they're on right now and if I hit the channel 3 button they shut off. There we go. Remote operated LEDs with nothing but an old servo board and if I wasn't making a video this might have taken me 10 minutes if that. You can see them right there. Here let me turn off the light. You can see them right here, switching on and off, and all I am pushing is the channel 3 button on my controller. So, it does work, and that is how to make controller-operated LEDs for little or no money at all. As a further experiment, I just put these two lights in with reverse polarity to these. So, these are positive to positive and negative to negative. These are positive to negative and negative to positive. And now I can make the switch, switch between the two sets. So all you have to do is reverse the polarity and you can actually have two completely different circuits of LED lights that are independent of each other and all controlled from the channel 3 button on your controller.